Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk about the most cheapest unfunded bills that can reach 1 billion accumulated damage for the weekly boss rate in 3 of Savior. Without having a good gears, without having a good meta bills, and you can't be lazy as much as you want, the bill is going to be the Priest, Oracle, and Deputy. Now, first thing first, before we jump right into the bills, there are a few things that you need to know about the weekly boss rate content. It's a random generated with time limited boss fake type of content. This content rotates weekly with different bosses and weekly skill pattern. For example, for week 66, which is last week, we have Demon Lord Noels with overcharge, dead runes for explosion, rune anguish, and accuracy specialty. And for this week, we have Demon Lord Monarchs with purifying stones, overloads, medial shell, rune of magic, and critical resistance specialty. So pretty much you can already expect that you are going to experience all the new kind of mechanics and boss fight every single week. Now some boss will bring the pain against your favorite builds, some boss is just stupidly strong and some boss will have a crazy mechanic that will make no sense. Now speaking of crazy mechanics, we actually had a worse combo with the weekly pattern skill two weeks ago which is a week 65 where you have to fight against fossil lore with floral sense, bread sense, storm, magic absorption and evasion specialty. In addition, there is a damage ranking system, top 10 players will receive a special item that will only available for that week which is really nice by the way saying you can actually make silver by selling the awesome cosmetic items you also get a special titles and furniture for the housing system assuming if you can get top 10 by the way another thing you need to understand is that weekly boss rate is considered to be the most mandatory content in three of savior because you can actually get a lot of items like mercenary badges mrs tom page magic stone Burrata metal shining demon lord cube but more importantly our stone our frag and birds of steel now all these items are extremely valuable especially for the new and return players who are trying to grind and cap out mercenary badges weekly as much as possible so they can continue to build and upgrade the character over time now that you understand how wicked boss rate content works let's go ahead and take a look at the priest oracle debbie builds and how the build actually work in wiki boss rate priest oracle debbie class combination is a standard support build for all type of content ranging from casual rate content like Val popper and vodas up to end game rate content like uting white witch and hard morning ponia this whole class combination offers a variety of skill sets that can amplify your party performance on a whole different level. However, there is one class in this combination that stands out the most compared to the rest, and that is going to be Oracle. Oracle is a debuff support class that greatly amplifies your party damage outputs with ability like Death Sentence, Divine Minds, Arcane Energy, and Prophecy. So far, Prophecy is the best anti crowd control skill against removable debuff like Stuns and Freeze. In addition, Oracle has a special skill called Twist of Fate. This is a burst DPS skill that does damage based on the enemy maximum HP and gradually restore their HP over time. Now, if you think about this, Wicked Boss Rate has a ton of HP which enables Twist of Fate to hit cap every single cast. More importantly, the boss does not regenerate HP unless your character can completely eliminate the boss, which will pretty much reset the boss HP back to 100%. More importantly, because of these mechanics, it actually makes the standard support build like Priest, Oracle, Deputy more valuable for the weekly boss rate content under the unfunded category. Going to the gameplay, what you want to do is actually setting up your Deputy above for SP and cooldown reduction. These two effects will come in pretty handy because your goal is to reduce the cooldown of Twist of Fate and spam it as much as you can for every single run. The reason why I mention every single run is because you can only cast roughly between 13 up to 15 times per run due to the time limit and dealing with the mechanics while keeping your catcher alive as much as possible. However, you will have 7 runs available every single week. I actually did some calculation for the 7 runs. You need roughly around 150 million damage per run for the 7 run to achieve 1 billion accumulated damage. But of course, there are many other ways to improve the damage further without having to rely on Twist of Fate to achieve 150 million damage for every single run. The first method is auto attack with Blessing and Sacrament Priest buffs, and the second method is using high level assister. The second method is actually more reliable compared to the first method because the assister are much more easier to manage and control since you don't have to focus too much on spamming auto attack. In addition to that, you can actually time your Oracle Death Sentence along with the Assister Burst ability to bring out a huge damage output. My personal favorite Assister would be Fossil Lore and Tantalizer. These two are the most common DPS Assister for all solo content and even for the Assister dungeon itself because these two offer the highest DPS output for Magic Quality Assister. So I suggest that these two are way much stronger compared to the unique and legendary sister. If anything, I recommend getting either one of these two because they are easier to obtain due to magic quality. 
So the next question is, how do you skill up priest or gold and deputy builds? Well, for the base class, you max out heals, 1 point into fakes, everything goes into guardian sing, and 4 point into cure. For the priest, max out aspersion, 5 point monstrous, 1 blessings, 1 sacraments, eight turn and dead, 5 resurrection, 5 revise, and 5 mass heal. Now, the reason why I recommend putting 1 point to blessing, you don't necessarily need to max this out unless you're playing champ playing. 1 point blessing should be good enough along with 1 point sacraments. Added damage is not that big in the late game except if you're playing champ playing or SR build or any build that require the added damage status. For the oracles, 1 point to counter spell, max out death sentence, 4 tail, divine mind, twist of face, 1 point prophecy, 12 point arcade energy, and 1 point into the gender switch. Gender switch is optional by the way because sometimes you don't know whether you want to switch to female or male character, that is up to you. And lastly, for deputies, we have these 1.2 background. This is optional, by the way, even though it's a free teleport. But in the future update, you can actually use the DVD by Vora to teleport between statues, which is really nice as an option for farming. Max out the Zemai statues, the Lima statues, the Asherine statues, and Cardboard trees, along with 1.2 Carb attack and the rest of the skill point going to the Carb O. Now, the reason why there is only 1 point into Carb attack because I want to unlock the R attribute called Quick Statue. What it does is remove the attack function of the card attack and increase one level of deputy statue in range of the card attack. Which is really nice by the way since it allows you to increase your statue level by once which gives you more SP and quota reduction. It does not apply to goddess asteroid statue so keep that in mind. However, there is another trick with this skill. The moment you craft the war tree statue and it does not apply silent debuff, you can actually use this ability to refresh the debuffs and apply back to the monster. I don't know how to work but it worked perfectly for weak boss ray silent debuff is probably the most powerful ability most powerful debuff to kind of cancel out the monster and the boss as well and using it in the weak boss ray is like a free beast by the way you don't have to worry about the monster attack or the boss attack and all you have to do is just kind of focus on the wiki pattern skills and keep crafting the statue again and use card attack wherever you need to to reapply the silent debuffs on the boss and monster as for the equipment, you can use either free legendary equipment from the episode 12 questline, which is this nine videos or bottom equipment from Scare Clips Legend Ray, which is random and fixed con status anchor. For the fixed anchor, you can actually use Gallant Myth since they are easier to extract and obtain through the Mercenary Bash Shop. Here is the full equipment for Watanabe. He didn't really use anything that would consider high end equipment other than just random status available from the this nine videos and Mistress Anchor along with the Mercenary Bash legendary accessory for extra con and spr status if you already noticed that he using full episode 12's equipment that has been enhanced with the event scroll now for the new and return players make sure to do any type of the future event to obtain this upgrade scroll imc is actually adding this upgrade scroll to the event shop pretty frequently so your chance of getting the scroll are much higher now compared to before not to mention that you can choose any type of vibora of your choice with the vibora upgrade scroll for the episode 12 equipment so make sure to take advantage of that system as well in addition, these enhanced equipment will come in pretty handy for your future character since you can store and pass it on to your secondary or third character however you want to pass it on and use it. Anyway, that is all for this video. I do apologize for not uploading lately since I have been trying to keep track with the cases update, checking out new information related to the goddess system, and try to catch up with the grinds and prepare for the future update. A lot of outside stuff too by the way, not just the video game. Also, if you have a friend who is having troubles of getting 1 billion accumulated damage for the weekly boss rate content, maybe consider sharing this video to him or her to see if it works out or help out that person. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.